Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're doing my first ever top 10 because the series is going to be called cool top 10. However, this one is a top 5 as you can see by the title. Um, this is top 5 games that should be ported to the Switch or I want to be ported to the Switch because a few of these, I'd say quite a few people will disagree and go nah, that is a game I would never want to see be ruined because of, you know, the Switch bad sort of graphics and compared to PlayStation, PC and Xbox which the games are currently on that I'm listing these from um, which you will see from the first game where I'm like I would love to see this game on the Switch however I don't know if it will be able to the Switch I don't know if this Switch like would be able to handle the graphics and the gameplay and everything but either way let's just jump straight into it Game number one is The Division 2. Now, if you know me in person, you'll know I've been playing this game quite a bit recently. Um, until about two or three days ago when I just went full on Smash. Like, I've played Smash for 20 hours, 24 hours since then. So, a full day in the past three or four days, like I said. Um, I was on this game every day for like six days straight, like all day that I could. And, I, I don't know, it's just, I, I just got the game, to be fair, but it's just so, so good, like, the only reason, thing I was thinking about this game, that it might be bad, was the fact it's a Tom Clancy, and the only Tom Clancy's I've played is Rainbow Six, um, so I was like, oh, this is just going to be another Rainbow Six, which, personally, I found really repetitive, not after that long of playing it. Um, but no, it was like perfect. I never played Division 2. I never even watched a single YouTube video on it because what I don't like to watch videos on games that I want to play because then if I do get them and I do play them, it's kind of like I've taken the fun out of them by watching the videos. So I usually only watch videos on it once I've completed it, once I've got a decent of the part of the way through it, you know. Um, Division 2, it, it's so good. It's like... It's in it's an open world, which is the only reason I think it might not be stable on the Switch. Um, like kind of game where you're like you're fighting the bad guys, which at the st you've got loads of groups of bad guys. You've got the hyenas, which I think are kind of the main ones because they are in most of the places. Although I say that I've only done Washington D.C. and Downtown East, but I keep just constantly helping other people and helping other people I think currently at this time of recording I did record this clip but three or four days ago um, just before I kind of stopped playing it I'm about level nine so I'm not that far into it but like I've spent quite a lot of time just grinding and grinding and grinding and just I don't know I the point is my point I'm trying to make is the game is really addictive and really fun and it's the sort of game that I'd love to see on the go. Now, people that have played it and people who have played Tom Clancy's will be sitting here going, Carl, you're an idiot. You have to be connected to the internet to even get on the game. <laughs> yeah, you're right. However, they could easily implement something like offline play, you know, and that would just make the Switch version sick. Now, the game like this would run quite easily I'd say in docked but it's handheld I think it would be another one of those games where it's just crash and crash and crash and crash over and over again so I don't know what they'd have to do they'd have to lower the graphics and lower the frames and stuff because that's the problem that's literally the only problem it like to make it offline friendly is should be easy surely but it's just I don't know either way this is one of the games that I really want to see on the Switch. Um, I actually had a list of 30 and I was just, I was like, I'll do top 10. And then I realised I can't do top 10 because I can't record some of the clips for them. And I was just going to take the trailers for the games, but I thought that's kind of boring. It's not really showing any gameplay, it's just the trailer. Um, so yeah, I, I've i done this as my fifth most, when actually this is probably my seventh or eighth most, but I was just like, it's easy to record this one, and also I've just generally been enjoying it a lot recently, so I want to do it, show it. Um, I don't know what else to say about it, so let's get on to the fourth game.
Back in 2017, we saw the release of Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, which honestly, I loved. It's an amazing game. The only reason I didn't complete it, even like didn't complete all three games, was because it's quite difficult. Um, but it's such a great game, and we saw it released on the Switch, which I got it on the PlayStation because I was like, it's a PlayStation game, I'm going to get it on PlayStation. But I... I don't know, it was such a good game, and it came to the Switch, and as soon as I saw it on the Switch, I was like, I need it, I really want it on the Switch, because it's the sort of game I'd love to play on the go, and then, later on, I heard the release of Spyro, which, if you don't know, uh, my PlayStation name was originally Spyro Kyle, obviously I've changed it now, uh, now that you can change it, but ever since 2012, it's been Spyro Kyle, and I love Spyro, I've had some addiction to Spyro my whole life, um... And then they brought the Spyro game, which obviously I got for the PlayStation 4 as well, because once again, PlayStation 4, it's a PlayStation 4 game, and also, it's not on the Switch. How stupid. It, Crash Bandicoot was on the Switch, and that's a re, that was a remastered PlayStation exclusive, and Spyro is only on PlayStation and Xbox, and I think it might be on PC, but I'm not too sure. That's stupid, because Spyro, if it was on... Switch, I would buy it on Switch as well, because I love it, I've, I play it so much, I've literally, I think I've got about 9 hours on the game, and I've completed the first game now, this is footage from quite a while ago, uh, about, about 3 or 4 weeks ago, but, like, this is the sort of game where, let's say you've just come out of a Fortnite lobby, which I want to point out, I fucking hate Fortnite now, but let's say you've just come out of a Fortnite lobby, and you're like, really annoyed, because you've lost, came second place, got killed by a streamer, you know, you're really sweaty, you're like, I just want to play a chilled out game, for God's sake. You look over your shelf, and if Spyro isn't there, then what are you doing? Because this is the most chilled out, you know, relaxed sort of, just enjoy the gameplay game there is. And if it was on the Switch, this would be the perfect game to play on long car journeys, and obviously not if you're driving, but, and like, you know, when you're going on the train to go places, and when you're going around a friend's house, just stick it on their TV with your dock, or their dock, or whatever, Spyro is the perfect game to play party, but you can't, it's, it's annoying, I know it's only a one player game, I'm pretty sure, let me check, yep, only one player game, I know it's only a one player game, but, taking turns, just, it's a good game to laugh along at as well, because, it's the sort of stupidity of sometimes when you die in this game, or you're trying to do jumps to get onto hidden platforms, and you just keep failing over and over. I know from experience. Um, it's the best thing, but the fact it's only on PlayStation, a home console, it just should be on more. It should be... Oh, no, only on PlayStation and Xbox and possibly PC, but you get what I mean. It should be on Switch, like Crash Bandicoot, because... For the same reasons Crash Bandicoot's on the Switch. It's just a perfect game to play with friends, to mess about with, to have a laugh at, you know. <coughs> I, I, I'm so annoyed that it's not on Switch. Like, to be honest, when I got it on PlayStation, and I already... Uh, when, yeah, when I got it on PlayStation for Christmas, and I already knew that Crash Bandicoot was on Switch, as well as PlayStation and Xbox and that, I was like, alright, so Spyro's going to be on the Switch, I'll have to look into buying that. I'm pretty sure Crash Bandicoot really a, released a little bit later on the Switch than the PlayStation. So I was kind of like, alright, that's fine. I'll just, you know, give it a little bit of time. I'll wait. And once it comes out on Switch, I'll buy it. Still waiting. It's not out on Switch. And it should be because it's the perfect game. The graphics will be fine. The graphics in the game aren't too demanding. Um, so surely that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, the game is, alright, quite big. On PlayStation it's currently 74 gig, I believe. Um, but that's that can be minimised. That'll be like, you know, f s like ten gig, which is quite a lot still. Ten gig off the store, and um, and like maybe a gig and a half on um cartridge and that or cartridge is it called cartridge? The little switch game cartridges. Yeah, whatever. Basic. It 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 can easily be catered for. I'm watching the gameplay while talking and I'm such an idiot. Now that I know how you break that, it's so annoying that I just walk straight past the firework. Um, anyway, back to the point. This is the perfect game for the Switch and I hope, even though it's been like almost a year since it was originally released on the PlayStation and Xbox and possibly PC like I said, they can release it now and I will still buy it and I know loads of people will because it's just made for the Switch.
if you've been around here for a while, you know that probably my favourite all-time game, apart from when I was quite young, you know, Skylanders and that, Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare, and Garden Warfare 2. Mainly Garden Warfare 2. I hate Garden Warfare. First one, actually. What a monopole. Garden Warfare 2 is my all-time favourite game, and... I've heard uh, Wolfie Plays, who's a YouTuber that I watch, he does like Smash Bros, Garden Warfare, you know, he does, he plays games that I play and it, he's just so funny, definitely check him out if you, you know, aren't already watching him. Um, he did say this, I think, in a video of Plants vs Zombies once, going, I don't see why they don't port, port um, Garden Warfare over to the Switch, it's just such a Switch friendly, child friendly sort of game. Obviously the Switch has gone a lot darker since then but Plants vs Zombies is such a good game I've spent nowhere near as many hours on this game as I have Terraria and Minecraft and that but I can say that out of the kind of small 350 hours I've spent on this game there's been a lot more entertainment than Minecraft and Terraria when I was younger and alright yeah, that was a while ago, I, pl I was playing Minecraft and Terraria a lot, but I can easily say that Plants vs Zombies is so much better, right? If you haven't played Plants vs Zombies on PlayStation, Xbox or PC, you need to get it, it is such a good game. And I believe Garden Warfare 3 might be coming out soon, we've got PopCap doing a presentation maybe at EA, at the EA event thing, I don't know, or EA have a uh, thing set up at an at one of the events to showcase the game hopefully so you know obviously no one from Nintendo or anything is going to be watching or PopCap but please put Garden Warfare 3 onto the Switch it would be a perfect match and it would be so good because if they put Garden Warfare 2 over already alright the game's been out for like two years three years game came out in 2016 I believe let me check uh, yeah 2016 um, it's been three years since it came out. Um, you can connect your EA account and have your account, you know, go over, and it would be just be, it would just be perfect. Everything would work so well. I mean, the backyard isn't too big that I think it would crash. Obviously, the graphics are quite playful and that, and they're not like realistic, uh, unrealistically demanding. Is that a good way to put it? They're not stupidly good compared to like Division 2 so it shouldn't be too much of a problem with graphics um, maps aren't too big you know everything is just so perfect and even if you look at the game's file now obviously I can't take a screenshot I don't think because it's on my home screen on PlayStation but it's literally 32 gig that is not too big uh, for the switch like when they minimize it down because of different graphics and frames and that <coughs> 32 gig is like 500 megabyte for a cartridge, you know, that isn't that, like, that isn't too much, and 100%, even if it is 4 or 5 gig, it's worth it, it's worth every, like, bite in that, you know, it's, it's an amazing game, and I think, personally, it will be the third best, seeing as it's in third, um, match on this list, now, I was kind of like, when I was making the order for this, like the top five here that we're doing, I was kind of like, Plants vs Zombies should be first. At first, I was like, yep, yeah, Plants vs Zombies has got to be first. But then I was like, that's just me saying that because I love the game. Like, I'm not saying I love... That's not putting, I think, it should be on Switch. That's just putting the game's amazing and I want to play it more, right? So I thought more about what other people will want as well, and I know other people want onto what's in second and third second and first one more about point is this game is amazing and it would fit perfectly on the switch in my opinion if you agree leave a like put it in the comments to show you know that you think yeah this game should 100% be on the switch anyway let's get on to the fourth item in this list second place Number two on this list is a game I know all of you will agree with, Overwatch. Now, Overwatch is an amazing game. It has been out for, let me check, three years, and I've had it for two years. And I haven't played it as much as I've wanted to, but 
it is an amazing game and anyone who has played that knows it and ever since the switch came out and i got the switch i've just been like why is it not on the switch like once again you might be like with like with the division 2 kyle you have to have online to get actually log on to it they can make bot modes like in call of duty and battlefield and that you know f do a game versus bots or they can add a campaign that would be a smart idea maybe that would be an overwatch 2 because the campaign would be quite a big thing and they should definitely make an overwatch 2 however i feel like this game would be perfect on the switch and it would make it would definitely like break the break it would definitely prove that the switch is a lot better for graphics than it's stereotyped or people think it is like i don't know i all i can say is that overwatch is an amazing game an amazing party game an amazing online game and for instance there's modes that i love called retribution i don't see why that can't be a con like a always on mode for switch if they bring out switch the graphics for this game are I guess kind of demanding, um, but it once again is kind of a child, a child's. It's kind of like a young, like cartoony friendly sort of game. So it's not realistic and extremely demanding like Division the Division Two is once again. However, I don't know. It should be quite easy. Size, it's twenty gig on PlayStation. Might be about thirty now. I've got it downloaded. I know, but. I don't remember the last time I checked. All I remember is downloading it and playing it. So, I, I, I don't know. I, I think this game would be... I mean, I've put it on second on the list, but really it's joint first because I've ever since I've got the Switch, like I said, I've been like, why is this game not on the Switch? This game is perfect for the online section of the Switch, you know? Um, oh, big derp there. <laughs> I don't know if it's happened yet. I remember it in the game and I'm seeing it now. However, I'm going to edit the start of this. Yep. Just happened now for me. Oof. Um yeah, it's 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 a good game, amazing online game. It should 100% be on the Switch. Uh before I move move to the first place, I'd like to quickly thank Will for helping with the Overwatch recording. I could not play this game. Like Every time I got a server, it lagged like shit, alright? It was just constantly, the whole gate, i will be glitching around, and it was just not good, good enough material for the recording. Um, but then Will joined and somehow got a really good lobby that I actually wasn't lagging in because he was the host. So thanks, Will. Um, and obviously, he's here playing too. He's just jumped in front of me as Mercy. Um, if you want to see video, more videos of Overwatch, by the way, Please put that in the comments. Um, I do most of the time just play the games that you guys ask for. But like, or if you guys put in the comments, hey, please do more of this. Or please get this game and play this game. I will then usually play it. Um, or give it a try to see if it's worth recording. So if you want to see new games, put them in the comments. And if you want to see Overwatch, put that in the comments. Because I don't really play enough of this game anymore. And I feel like if you guys want to see it, that would push me to play it more. Anyway, back to the point. This this game is perfect for the Switch, right? So in a few seconds time, more than likely most of you are going to leave the video because you go, oh for fuck's sake, really? You make us wait the whole video just to see you play Terraria? And um, yeah, I guess like I said, it's joint first with Overwatch, but Minecraft is on the Switch, and I know that because I'm gonna admit it. I bought it <laughs> um, because Minecraft's the perfect game for like. This is my excuse that everyone uses, but it is my real excuse. Like, it is actually the main way I play the game. Is I have younger friends or cousins or my little brother Ollie who wants to play Minecraft and I was like what's the first perfect first game I could get Ollie into and it was Minecraft and he's he's pretty good he knows how to move around break blocks and stuff so Minecraft is the perfect game for young people so it makes sense why it's on the switch Terraria and I don't like I don't like to be the one that says this because I don't believe this at all I hate this and most big Terraria fans hate it as well as a case who's more than likely watching this, who's a huge Terraria sweat. Um, 
most people say, and it is kind of true, I guess, that Terraria is the 2D Minecraft. Minecraft, can I just point out to you, has like three bosses, two bosses. It, it, it has like two or three bosses. Terraria has tons. Right, let's go through them all. Eye of Cthulhu, Brain of Cthulhu, Eater of Worlds, Skeletron, Queen Bee, King Slime. Um, I'm missing one. I know I'm missing one. Wall of Flesh. I swear there's another one that I've missed, but we'll go with that. Um, the three mechanical bosses, that's already ten. Uh, Plantera, Golem, Okram, which no longer exists apart from on 3DS and um, uh, and on mobile, I think. I think those ones are still in 1.2.4. Either way, um, yeah, so that's already 13. Then you've got uh, the Duke Fish on, which I'm currently taking down to try and get the wings, which took me so long to get. I've already taken them down like 20 times before this, and I don't... Did I even get it? I don't remember. Either way, that's the point. 14, we've got the Cultist, the three pillars, which I am going to count as four, uh, the four pillars, sorry, which I am going to count as bosses, because they are so hard to defeat, and most people will die on them. Uh, Moon Lord, and then you've got the special goblin wizard person that spawns in hard mode. You've got the dragon from the uh, the three the 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 tier three old ones army. You've got the pirate captain. You've got the pirate ship. We're already on like twenty or thirty. There's a ton of bosses. That's my point. So it's not the two D Minecraft, but I can say that because it has a small connection to Minecraft. It should be on the Switch. And look at what how it, what it's playing right now. This sort of game can easily be handheld on Switch. I mean, it was handheld on PS Vita, and the only problem was the touchpad on the back screwed up your gameplay. But the point is, it ran perfectly on the PS Vita, and the Switch is a more powerful Nintendo's better ver version of the PS Vita. So if it's managed to be on the PS Vita, it can twice as easy easily be on the Switch. This game is amazing for parties. You take around a, a friend's house, it is an amazing party game. You take around a friend's house, oh, I did get the wings, there they are. Take around a friend's house, you can play it for hours on end, hours. I've done it before, I know. You know Jacob, I remember he bought it on 360 quite a few years back now, because I convinced him to. We played it for like five hours straight, just non-stop, and we, we never got bored. The only reason we turned it off is because, you know, I had to leave. So the point is, it's so good, it's... I mean, it's an age 12, but personally, I think th the only reason it's 12 is because it's got the bosses and the gore and stuff like that, right? It, it This is a game for all people. I know, like, it's a child-friendly game. Easily a child-friendly game. And it's like... <coughs> it's... I don't know how to say this. It's so... The Switch, I think, is a console that is for kids and for the true gamers, right? Because you only really have a Switch if you're a young kid that gets it to play the new Mario games and the new Pokemon games and to be able to, you know, basically have a console tablet, like phone but big, you know, that tablet. And then for adults, like the true gamers, the ones that literally will spend thousands of hours just playing a game like this. A game where it's grindy but fun. You've got to work your way up from spawning with copper tools all the way up to the solar eruption and the Meowmere, which is a huge meme, right? The point is, there's thousands of hours in this game. The game is so smooth and so lovely. It should just be on the Switch. Moving on from the fact it should be on the Switch, it is, I believe, coming to the Switch. We got a picture. I still don't know if it's fake or not. Um, that was on Reddit. I don't really watch videos on these sort of conspiracies of if it's going to be on the Switch or not. I just kind of look at the pictures, make my mind up, and then go with my gut, right? Unless, obviously, someone's like, by the way, guys, we just found out that spoiler was fake. That's the sort of videos I will watch. That's it. We saw a picture or a video, I don't remember, it was quite a while ago, of... Terraria running on the switch so 
I, I don't know if that means we're going to get it, or if that was just some fanboy going, yeah, fuck it, I'll just copy and, uh, copy and paste, I'll just Photoshop this in to, you know, excite all the fanboys. But the point is, it ran perfectly on the Switch in that video, so if they've gone, actually, nah, let's not make it, then that's just a waste of money for them, and, or a loss of money, and just loss of entertainment for us. Out of all the games that are coming, uh, that I want to see on this list, I know I said Overwatch is joint first, but this is 100% the most. I would love to see this game on the Switch, and if what they should do is when they release this game on the Switch, they should release this game with the same update that PC's on, and release update PlayStation and Xbox to the same one that's PC's on, and then cross-platform it. That would be perfect, and that would be perfect for one reason only. Loads of people have this game on Xbox and PC and PlayStation, and if it comes to the Switch, all those people, that, most of the people that have it on those consoles, will more than likely not get it on the Switch. So it's good for the new people, like the newcomers to the game. But then, if that newcomer's got a friend that's got an Xbox, for instance, how is he going to play the game online? And the best way to play Terraria is with friends. Anyway, that's my list. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, if this video, I'm not going to say how many likes, but if this video gets a certain amount of likes or a certain amount of views, I will 100% make either five more games that should be ported onto the Switch, or something else, maybe my five favourite characters in Plants vs Zombies, or my five favourite weapons in Terraria, or my, I don't know, my five favourite suits in Marvel Spider-Man, whatever you want to see, put it in the comments and I will more than likely do it. This video has taken me five days to record, edit, voiceover, upload, so please, if you did enjoy it, like it and share it with your friends, that would mean the world to me. Guess I'll see you in my next video. Peace.